Okay, right here is a 1968 Bucyrus Erie 60R. This giant rotary blast hole drill was introduced by Bucyrus Erie in 1962. Its brother was the 61R, and both drills were relatively the same size. They were both dual rotary drive and air compressor drills that were offered by Bucyrus Erie as diesel or electric power. The 60R and 61R quickly became the workhorses for the surface mining industry and were very popular sellers. As you can see, this 60R is all sealed up and out of service. There is the possibility that someday this 60R may go back to work, but that all depends if a job should arise that's big enough to support this machine. So now I'm going to take and show you around a little bit. The 60R was designed by Bucyrus Erie to drill holes up to 12 and a half inches in diameter with a bit loading of 90,000 pounds. Later on, in 1979, an improved Series 4 60R was introduced with an increased bit loading capacity of 125,000 pounds. By no means are the 60 and 61R blast drills small. These are large rotary blast hole drills designed strictly for production. There's three jack pads on a 60R. You can see one of them right here. These pads are used to level off this machine when it goes to drill. In the front, these rubber mats you see in the front and on the sides is what's called the curtain. And this is basically to keep the dust from blowing around when the machine is in the process of drilling. And underneath, you can see the rotary head on this machine. From under here, you can get a view of the drive system on this machine. You can see the crawlers are chain driven. You can see where the big chain runs around the drive motor, which connects back to the rear sprocket here, which in turn will turn the crawlers to travel the machine. Take note on how wide the crawler pads are on a 60R. You may have remembered me saying in previous blast drill videos that normally these big surface crawler drills have very narrow crawler pads, being that they're working on shot rock and uneven ground. However, a drill the size of this 60R needs very wide pads because of the sheer weight of this machine. It needs wider pads to spread the weight and provide a firm foundation when it goes to drill. Underneath here, you can get a good view of the frame of the undercarriage, which connects both crawlers together. And as you can see, the house on a 60R is very, very long to support the design of all the motors inside. And on the back, you can see the third jack pad to level off the rear of this machine. The vents that you see on the back here are to allow plenty of air circulation in back by the motors when this machine would be running. This particular 60R is electric powered. And right here on the side is where the power cable would connect to the J box to bring the power up inside the machine. Now I'll take you up on top of this 60R. It is locked, so I won't be able to take you inside and show you the motors or the operator's cab, but I will take you up on it and give you some other views of this machine. Now, through this door right here would take you in back inside the house where all the motors are on the machine. And naturally, through this door right here would take you inside to the operator's cab. I'm going to take you up on top of the roof of this machine where you'll get a better view of the mast and the steels. From up here you can get an idea of just how massive the lift cylinders are to raise and lower the mast on this drill. And from here you can get a view of the massive steels that will drill the holes. This ladder right here will take you all the way up 
to the very top of the mast on this machine. These big 60R drills were manufactured up until 1993, with 370 60 and 61 R's built up until then. And one common feature about the big 60R is all the windows on the cab. But there she is a 1968 Bucyrus Erie 60R blast drill.